Hey guys, and welcome to the Bayern View. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, we are going to be talking um, about Adam uh, Azou. I believe so. Say his name, the Moroccan fullback that we have at the club. Very, very young player. Uh, and basically, he's done an interview um, a little bit ago. Uh, when was it? It was 18th September. So, a little bit ago, but uh, I wanted to make make a video on it and react to it. He's obviously a super super young lad, eighteen years old. Obviously got his uh, one of his first caps for Morocco not uh, so long ago, uh, and yeah, man, maybe the future of of Bayern Munich, um, like left back, if you want to say. Um, so yeah, like there's so many so many people that are saying he's a gem and the next Moroccan gem and so on and so forth. I'm not necessarily going to have a verdict on that. But yeah, without further ado, smash the thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until then, Mia Samia, let's go. Right. Um, bonk. So it's done by um, this Twitter account. Now, people are going to be like, bro, why is it like... Um, Basically, this lion, uh, lions talk here. Um, they basically tweet all about Morocco. So if you're if you're interested in in that, go and follow them. Um, you know they've got five thousand followers on the dots. So big up to them, one thousand percent. To be fair, I'm surprised. I don't know why I'm not following. Actually, I, now I feel bad because I've ruined that perfect thing. But oh well. Um, yeah. So make sure to go follow them if you haven't already. Uh, and as you can see here. Um, Read my interview with Adam Azou. Uh, we speak uh, about the national team, his goals this season, uh, Bayern, his family, friends, his relationship with Hakimi, uh, Lamine, uh, and then obviously Masrawi. So, and I do care about Masrawi in the sense that obviously he did play for Bayern. Um, so, yeah, so yeah, just to get to know him better, obviously you'll see, you'll remember this. Obviously there's Arakunda in the background. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do in this particular video. So yeah, big up to everybody. Let's go. So, uh, first I want to thank Adam again. I don't recall him speaking to any media except the Federation and Bayern. He refuses in, uh, interviews for the biggest new newspapers in the world, um, over the years, but he did not mind speaking to me just because my little, uh, person, I'm very grateful. Big up to him. 100%. So question was, uh, question one, can't speak. Uh, we start with the latest, uh, a great performance against um, Les Lestrato uh, on the international debut. A lot of quality um, and confidence. Perhaps the question on everyone's mind is where and how did you um, get all this confidence um, to try things and play uh, like uh, that from the first game? Um, and he says, well, that's my style of play. I always try to enjoy myself on the field, whether it's my first time or any moment I step onto the field, especially if I'm around good players who inspire uh, a lot of confidence, which again, 1000%. And then he was asked, after the match, you were, uh, were very happy. You indeed received a, a lot of praise from the coach, your teammates and the fans. Um, so he should, by the way. What are the words um, that marked uh, you uh, you that night? Are uh, and from whom did they come from? I uh, said all my teammates congratulated me and enjoyed the moment with me after the game. The coach and the president also congratulated me and told me to keep working hard um, and basically, you know, keep keep my feet on the ground. Basically, be humble. Um, then he was asked uh we know the importance of family of the youth players can you maybe tell a short story about the sacrifice uh, of your parents uh, and what um what have they uh told you uh uh after you debut with your country uh, he said since i was little my father has always helped me with everything he took me uh, everywhere and thanks to him i started playing football uh, yeah, big up, big up your dad, 100%, bro, because you're a future gem, 1,000, bro, uh, for which I am very grateful. My mother has uh, always been there for me, um, everything I needed, 1,000, bro. Uh, and he says, I, I come from a humble and hard-working family, uh, and I uh, is it thank uh, Allah for being able to make them happy. I believe that's what that's supposed to say, thank. Um, I believe, hopefully I got that right, I'm not trying to... Um, 
offend anyone. Uh, then he question f uh, four was after the match uh, and even before we saw that you were very close to Hakimi. How is your relationship with him, uh, and how much did he help you with your integration into the national team? Um, and then he says, my brother, I can never say Hakimi's uh, first name. So every time he says this, I'm just going to say Hakimi. Um, he said he has helped uh, me since day one. When the list came out, he sent me a message congratulating me. Um, that uh, was very nice uh, of him. Uh, he is a really good person and a great captain. And it's clear um, 1000. Big up to him, 100%. Then he was asked, uh, we, can't, uh, we can't talk about the national team without discussing your experience with the under 17s team. Uh, there was a lot of speculation at the time and many fans would still like to know what happened. Do you think now is the right time to share that story? He said, well, it's some, it's something that has happened, uh, has already happened and the coach has his reasons. Uh, Allah has his plan for everybody. Uh, and I can, uh, all I can say is uh, Alhamdulillah. Um, hopefully, again, I've said that right. Then question six was, at the age of 16, you decided to leave FC Barcelona. Yes, he did play for Barcelona, if you didn't know. Uh, enjoyed Bayern Munich. Many people, especially who support um, Barcelona, still wonder about the reasons behind your decision. Then he goes on to say, a big club such as... Uh, why can I not read? A big club with such a huge history as Bayern Munich cannot be turned down. Bosh, bingo. Big mentality. Let's go. They offered me um, a uh, attractive um, project, and coming from humble, uh, a humble family, they helped me financially. Therefore, I chose Bayern. Big up to him, man. Big up. That's that's what we want to see. Uh, then he said, "We can't talk about La Massa. Obviously, that's um, being Barcelona. If you don't know, without mentioning your special uh, friendship with Lamine, oh, he's obviously talking about Yamal. Um, and then he said, and then he was asked, how uh, how close are you to him, even uh, after leaving the club, and how accurate are the rumours that say he was encouraging you to choose Spain uh, for your international career? Uh, he said, Lamine and I have spent many years together. And we've all uh, always had a close relationship. We enjoyed ourselves both on and off the pitch. While he made a uh, while he he made a decision to represent Spain, and I always supported him, um, just as uh, he supported my decision, one thousand percent. Then question eight was: Some people say that from a uh, sporting perspective, it was better to stay at Barcelona as you would have uh, offered first team minutes earlier than Bayern. What do you think of that? And what do you think of the decision to join Bayern now after two years at the club? Um, he said, both, um, both, well, both are very big clubs, but I choose Bayern and I'm very happy with the decision I made. Big up, bro. Big up. One thousand percent. Uh, a year ago, you posted a photo uh, with you and, uh, and Masrari that went viral. How much did uh, he help you at Bayern? And uh, what was uh, and what what? Uh, why can I not read? What was his reaction when he saw you got called up to the national team uh, and that you'll see each other again? He said, Masrari is a great person with a big heart. He has given me advice and helped me a lot. Uh, I was a bit shy, uh, but he encouraged me that uh, and supported me. Uh, I was uh, really happy to see him on the national team. So there we go. Question 10. Uh, what are your goals for the new season? Uh, and what areas do you want to improve or work on? He said, I uh, want to have minutes with the first team and comp uh, compete for a spot in the team. And I also would like to improve a bit phys physically. Like... Go turn into Goretzka. One, uh, one last question. What did, what did you? Uh, one last question. Am I good interview? He said you surprised me. Honestly, uh, they were good. So yeah, big up to to Lions Talk. I don't know their actual name or anything. Um, for for the interview. Um, big up one thousand percent because, you know, it was a good interview. To be fair, you actually asked some good questions rather than, um, some of these people these days. Uh, asking what company's going to wear the clown. Uh, but yeah, big up to Lion, 100%, bro. Um, big up to you, as always. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Let me know um, in the comment section down below what you think. Um, he's, he's a young lad. I really, really hope he does get um, get some some game time. Why not? 
You know what I mean? And, and the future's bright, bro. The future's bright. If we can keep um, Kragzig, uh, I know that he's obviously gone, but if we can get him back, we've got we've got Adam. Bro, we, <laughs> is there much else to say? You know what I mean? So, yeah, big up 1,000%. Um, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. If you have, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, all of that um, good stuff. And, um, yeah, without further ado, Mia Samia, peace.